Welcome back to Dogtography. Today I want to talk to you about something super special and a little bit unique. Why should you hire a professional dog photographer? So it seems like an interesting question because this channel is really geared towards the DIY approach to dog photography. I teach you based off of my own professional career, all my tips and tricks and advice for capturing beautiful storytelling images with your own dog. So you can kind of, you know, do it yourself. But should you or could you or why would you want to hire a dog photographer, a professional for yourself? I got lots to say about it, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Andrea Fleury and welcome to Dogtography. My channel is all about how to take better images of your dog and how to create some really super fun memories. I walk you through different tips and tutorials and techniques. I sometimes show you behind the scenes of my professional career as a dog photographer, all while just trying to have some fun and enjoy time with our dogs. So why hire a professional? Well, I feel like that begs the question because if you can do it yourself, why would you wanna hire someone to do it professionally for you? So one of the things that my clients tell me the most is they want me to capture the images that they're unable to capture themselves. Now that kind of falls into a lot of different categories. It just really depends on your dog. Some people say to me, whenever I pick up my camera to take a picture of my dog, it will do anything but look at me or the camera. So the dog is just kind of over it and has no motivation and does just about anything than what you want the dog to do. So they're hoping that, you know, I will have tips and tricks and stuff to get their, the engagement from their dog and to get some beautiful images of them that they can't take themselves. The other thing is images of you and your dog together. We all know how hard that is, whether you're trying to take a selfie or you've watched one of my videos about setting up a tripod with a little remote, nothing ever will take the place of a professional taking you out to a beautiful location, helping pose you or getting you into some kind of fun activity with your dog that's really meaningful and special to you and taking like candid captures of it along the way. You just can't do that for yourself. So if images of you and your dog together are super meaningful to you, then that is definitely another reason why you'd wanna hire a professional. If you have multiple dogs, that is another reason. Um, so some people say to me, oh, I have, you know, two dogs or three dogs and I really want a photo of my fur family together all in one shot, but it's impossible because my dogs won't sit together. One's looking this way. The other one's looking that way. This one's moving over here. Like it's so hard. And again, this is just an image that is super challenging for people to take on their own that I have a lot of techniques and tools and things that I can use like Photoshop or different positioning techniques. I have a handler that can help on location. So it, it definitely, again, takes the stress off of you and allows me to go, to go in and to do my job and to get you know that image, that one special picture that you're looking for. Um, without causing you any stress trying to do it on your own. So just to recap, tip number one is to hire a professional to get images that you can't capture easily on your own and to let us handle the stress and do it for you. So my number two reason is to get you a different quality of imagery. So there is a big difference between using this to capture moments and memories of your dog and using this. So the lenses on a cell phone camera and the, the lenses of a professional photographer are extremely different. So cell phone cameras, yes, have come a long way. There's different lenses on them now, all of that stuff. Yes, of course. What do I mostly take pictures of my dog with? The camera that I have on me, okay? So definitely convenient. But if you are wanting a higher quality of image where it has a narrow depth of field and like that creamy dreamy background or like that cinematic look or that's really sharp and in focus or is colorful or you know just has that different look again there is no replacing what a professional lens can capture it is just a completely different level of quality and again when clients reach out to me they will often say that you know that's what they're looking for they'll be like oh i really want one of those like portraits where it's all nice and soft in the background and is kind of dreamy looking because cell phones mostly take images that are all in focus everything is sharp you can see the trees 
way in the back are like just as sharp and in focus as your dog's face. It's a dead giveaway for a cell phone picture. Whereas professional pictures, depending on how they're taken, can definitely have that more like portraity look. The other thing a professional can do for you is to capture details and personality and character. So because I'm not with your dog every day and they're not, you know, so used to me that he is, you know, likely to ignore me, more often what I get instead is who's that crazy lady over there making all those strange noises or has all these different treats or has different smells or man, she's really interesting. I better pay attention to her. So that's kind of what I get. So when I'm trying to get character and personality from a dog is I first talked to the owner to see like, what does your dog love to do and how can we like replicate that in a photo shoot? Um, but you know, I make like lots of silly noises and I do lots of silly things to kind of get their attention and to get them to look at me or to run towards me or to do, you know, different things that again is very hard for you to achieve on your own. I also like to capture a variety of images that again might be tricky for you to do with a cell phone. So whether it's a posed like static image where they're like sitting on a rock or on a log or, you know, like not moving around, those definitely have a certain look to them. And I, I find that people really prefer those for like wall art or albums, things like that. Action shots where they're like jumping up in the air, catching a tree, running after a ball, carrying a stick out of the water. Like these different things are like multiple dogs playing with each other. Those are really fun too. Those shots are usually generally hilarious and are super fun to look at and are again, very hard for you to capture on your own and for it to have that like cinematic kind of feel to it where um, it has like the, the blurriness of the background, but the action in your dogs are sharp and in focus. That again is pretty much impossible to capture on a cell phone in the same way that I could with a professional camera. So again, it, it comes down to capturing details, the quality of the images and everything. There just is no comparing these two together. So my third point today that I wanna point out is it's a fun experience. It's something super fun to do with your dog. If you love doing different things and different activities with your dog, having a photo shoot for your dog or for you and your dog is just, sick like it's just such a great opportunity to do something different to go out and make some memories my clients will never ever forget their photo shoot that they had with me and they're not sitting at home reflecting back on that photo shoot and thinking god that was so stressful oh my dog wouldn't sit still oh this wouldn't this blah 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 like they don't look at their photos or their wall art or their albums that i create for them and go oh god like this was such a horrible you know, experience. No, it was fun. You get to make memories. You get to do new and different things. You get to go to beautiful places. You get to do whatever you want because it's custom to you. And that's the other thing. I would look for a photographer that puts effort into having a consultation with you. So I have a consultation with all of my clients before I do a custom photo shoot for them. And the reason why I call it a custom photo shoot is because that's exactly what it is. It's custom to the client and what you want, it's custom to their dog and whether your dog feels comfortable. Um, if they would rather be in a forest or on a beach or at a private you know, property that we rent, if they don't wanna be around other dogs or other people, it's completely custom to whatever you want. I even go so far is to go to my client's homes and I take a look at the rooms in which they want to put wall art into and I take into consideration their colors and if they have a theme in their decor and stuff like that. So it should be 100% all about you and your dog and what you want to get out of it. You should enjoy being spoiled and being pampered and passing that experience on to your dog as well. Make it a super fun activity for you. Have something that kind of leads up to it. Take them to the groomer, get them smelling all nice. I know that's probably more for you than for your dog, but you know what I mean. Get them a, a fun treat or a snack to have on the way home. Uh, let's grab a blanket and you two can sit down and like chill on the blanket and I take pictures of you together. Like whatever it is, you wanna get in the water and splash around and have fun with your dog, let's do that too. Like whatever would make the most beautiful memories for you that you would wanna have and remember forever. My last point is that your dog's memories are worth it. So when I show a client their images, quite often 
it is very common for a client to tear up. They're emotionally provoking images. It's so different seeing your dog or you and your dog through, I want to say like, this is a pun, but through someone else's lens or from someone else's perspective. There is a beauty there that you might not see otherwise. When I freeze an action shot, for example, and your dog is like running, running towards me and you get to see like that look on their face and that intensity or the love in their eyes when they look at you or something like that. It, it's just a different experience. You will never regret it. I know that professional photography can definitely be an investment. There is a significant amount of money involved. There's a lot of time involved. It's kind of a big process. It's not like going out with your dog and taking snapshots. It has more to it, but the return is worth it. You will never regret it. Your dog is worth it. You are worth it. And I just suggest that you consider hiring a professional dog photographer. So to finish off today, I just want to tell you that the kind of the number one thing I hear from people when they contact me, um, when I ask them what has motivated them to call me to book in a photo shoot is a lot of times I hear people say, we just lost one of our dogs has just passed away. And that event made us realize how precious their lives are, how you never know what is going to happen and that there is no better time than now, right now, present day to capture your dog in whatever stage of life they might be in, whether they're a rambunctious puppy or a rebellious teenager or a senior dog just enjoying their senior years there is no better time than right now of course i would love to be your photographer i mean you could fly me out anywhere i phoenix and i are in right phoenix he's yeah. in he's in so we would love to work with you but if you want to look and just do a google search or ask for a referral is i feel the best way you could find the best dog photographers in your area is ask for a referral. That's how I get most of my clients. I will get clients that, have, I, that know other people that I have done work for, and therefore you probably have a bit more trust in their process and a bit more familiarity, which I feel goes a long way uh, when we're talking about you know memory preservation and stuff, because our memories are super important and very valuable. And I definitely take my job very seriously, and so should you when you come to select your own dog photographer. All right, there. Okay. I hope that was helpful. I hope that gave you some insight into the difference and why you might want to consider hiring a professional. All right. Next Saturday, we are back at it with more tips and tutorials and techniques. And until then go out and make some memories with your dog with a professional. Okay. I'll see you next Saturday. Bye for now.